Hey guys, it's Sagittarius Soul Tarot. I'm going to do a different kind of video for all signs. It's going to be a situation with like you and your person, you and like a love situation for all signs. I'm going to do what's the main issue. Okay, I'm going to do like, um, I'm trying to think if I want to do both sides or if I want to do, let's see. I'm trying to think. I, I kind of feel like I want to do like you and the person, yeah. So like you and the person you're dealing with. So I'm going to do you and then them. I'm going to do kind of like what's going on with them, the main factor of the relationship with two different kind of cards. I'm going to clarify both of those, give you um, an advice card for the relationship, as well as also do um, Zodiac cards too. Okay? So it's going to be for the Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Crosswatch. Okay? I think I'm also going to do what you secretly want to tell each other as well like what you guys secretly want to tell each other as well with this deck here Hold on. yeah I'm also gonna do these messages of what you guys secretly want to tell each other all right so let's go ahead and start with Aries all right Aries let's see on your side what's this part what's like the situation with you in this connection Okay, retaliation. On their side, access granted. Okay, so I feel like you guys are being petty towards each other is what I'm seeing. I don't know if you guys have kids together or what, but there's a sense of, you know, you're trying to do some kind of payback or revenge. And then they're doing something with social media, hiding on social media. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and clarify you, the retaliation. Why is that here for Aries on their side? So it's like, are you guys being kind of petty with somebody, with this person? Are you guys being kind of petty? Trying to have some kind of revenge on them. Alright, let me go ahead. Clarify why is retaliation here for Aries side of the connection? King of Cups, Ten of Cups, Four of Wands. Because this is okay, this is kind of messed up. This is Ace of Wands. This is a person that you love, that you're crazy over. And for some sick reason, you feel like you have to do some kind of retaliation. I don't know if they did something to you, but it's like, it's like you're not expressing how this person made you feel. It's like you love this person, you guys have a family together, possibly, or a really strong connection. But it's like they maybe did something that kind of hurt you, that you didn't express. Okay, it's like, or you're just retaliating, getting revenge on them. I don't know, like, why, and that's weird. Because it's like, there's a Ten of Cups, Four of Wands. It seems like everything's fine and perfectly normal. So why are, and then the King of Cups, so why are you retaliating? If it's not you doing that, maybe it's your person doing it. Right, rules can be reversed. So, if it's not you doing it, maybe it's your person doing it. Alright, on their side, they got the access granted. Alright, so social media, fake profile, hiding. Why is that here for Aries person? Alright, Seven of Pentacles reverse, the Hangman, and the Seven of Wands reverse. Okay, so it's like they're doing something on social media because they're stuck. Okay, they feel like this relationship's not growing, so they're kind of laying low on social media, or they're not really being completely honest with the Emperor reverse. They could feel like they've lost, I don't know, they could feel like they've lost um, direction in this connection. Feel like maybe that you're not fighting for them as you used to. Feeling stuck. Alright. Alright, let's go ahead and do the Epiphany deck. One for each of you guys on your side. This is kind of a messed up reading. I don't know. I feel like you guys are just kind of petty with each other. Alright, on your side you got social media got me in trouble. So maybe you're the one doing the social media. Maybe rules are reversed. <coughs> maybe you're the one... With social media or they did something to spy on you on social media or seen that you're on social media about something okay stuck at a crossroad yeah okay so this person has a hangman so they're stuck in a crossroad okay they're stuck in this so it's like you did something on social media like they had a hidden account they saw you doing something on social media that maybe you kept private and now they feel stuck 
hearts that speak the same language. Maybe you guys usually have a really strong connection and can uh, you know, tell each other how you feel, but then they found something that like you didn't tell them. That's what I'm seeing, Aries. And then like you did something, like they were laying low on social media, having some kind of fake account to try to find out something about you. Okay, and now your person feels stuck. So, maybe retaliation is happening to you. Maybe they're retaliating on you. And that's just your energy is retaliation, but... Alright, so why social media here? Ten of Wands. Eight of Swords. And the Knight of Wands. Maybe you were kind of bored of the connection. And you were trying to, like, you were stuck in your head and you are just trying to, like, go on and see somebody else. <coughs> okay. Maybe you were trying to go on and see other people or be kind of sly and go on social media, like Tinder, okay? And you're like stuck in your head about this connection. You feel like you were just too, like, stuck and invested into it, too tired. And maybe you just wanted to go off and have fun. And that person saw that. Okay. All right, why is your person stuck at a crossroad? Okay, the two of swords. Yeah, they're like indecisive what to do. With, with the king of uh, emotions, king of cups here, and the nine of wands, because they, they, it's like they have a lot of feelings that they feel like they can't, they can't uh, say them, that they're stuck. They don't know how to say their feelings for you. They don't know how to express themselves. They're really indecisive about how they feel. Okay, with the page of cups, but they do have emotions for you. All right, let's go ahead and see what you guys secretly want to tell each other. So, Aries, what do you secretly want to tell this person? Okay, I've manifested you. And you probably did because you have the Ten of Cups, the Four of Wands. That's a really strong connection. Alright, what does this person want to tell you? Surrender yourself to me. Okay, so they want you to surrender. They want you not to be with anybody else. They want you just to be with them. Alright guys, let's see the guys, your guys' advice for this relationship. Overall advice for this connection, Aries. Okay, express your love. Overall, express your love. On the bottom, getting to know each other. So if it's a newer connection, you guys need to be more open with each other. Express your love. Alright, let's see what signs Aries could be dealing with. Okay, Scorpio. Cancer. Okay, Sagittarius. Aquarius. And then we got Capricorn. They could have this uh, placement or they could have this as their sun sign. Okay, so we have Aquarius, Scorpio, and Cancer strongly here. Alright, let's go ahead. Gary do Taurus. Okay. Alright, Taurus, let's go ahead and get you and your person. Let's get your side, their side, see what's happening. Let me know down below, guys, if you guys like this reading. If you guys like it, if it resonates, if it's... Uh, I thought I would just kind of change it up and do different videos. So, all right, Taurus, your side you got trash, th discarding, throwing out. Ooh, so are you like getting rid of somebody's stuff? Because then on their side you have on their side they have recalling. So like six of cups basically, reminiscing memories returning, denial. Okay, so it's like your person's made. Maybe you threw this person out. Okay, or you're getting rid of them, you know, mentally. It's like this person's denying you doing that. Like, they're kind of just, like, you know, thinking a lot about the past, not wanting you to throw them out, not wanting you to, you know, get rid of them out of your life, whatever may, may be here. So it's, like, almost like you're just wanting to be done with this person. And they're still, like, holding on to this connection, thinking about it, not wanting to accept that it's over. All right, so trash, Taurus. Why is, what are you throwing out of this connection? Eight of Wands, Okay. Seven of Wands and the King of Pentacles. So it's kind of like you're resisting this connection. It's like you are going to have communication with them, but you're going to kind of keep them at a little bit of a distance. Okay? But the, because you know your worth, okay? It's like you're blocking this connection because you know your worth, and it's like you're getting rid of whatever doesn't make you feel stable. With the Seven of Pentacles, you could have really invested a lot into this relationship, but you feel like you need to walk away. Okay. On their side, why is the like six of cups reminiscing here? 
Okay, the two of wands reverse. King of swords reverse and the five of wands. Okay, because you don't speak to them anymore. Maybe they feel like you chose a different path and it's not with them. And there's a lot of conflict, a lot of, I feel like, bad anger towards you. Like, they, like, still think about you in a good way, but they're, like, mad because you chose a different direction. Okay? And it's, like, maybe even, like, cut communication off with this person. You don't talk to them whatsoever. Maybe even block them, too, because I feel like you try to maybe communicate, but there's not a whole lot of communication. Yeah, page of swords reverse. It's more, like, kind of, like, keeping tabs on each other, but you're not really talking. Okay? Maybe you guys are still linked on social media, but you guys don't really speak. All right, let's get an epiphany card on your side, Taurus, for this connection, this person that you're kind of dealing with. Okay, so caught in the emotions. Okay, so you're caught up in the emotions, though. You still care about this person. And then the person has the love block. Okay, so there is, like I said, I feel there is a love block. There's a distance. Okay, false mask. Maybe this person wasn't who they said they were going to be or who they weren't. All right, let's go ahead and do caught up in the motions on Taurus's side. Let's go ahead and do one more shuffle. All right, so why are you caught up in the motions, Taurus, this person? Okay, the three of pentacles in reverse because you're not, like, working on this anymore with this person. Five of swords. And the Ten of Swords. This person hurt you. They, I feel like they manipulated you. That's why you're in this like emotional state. This person, like I said, they had the false mask on the bottom. So maybe they lied to you. They um, manipulated you. They stabbed you in the back. Okay? They weren't honest. There's a lot of conflict with this person. And it's like you're upset because they hurt you really bad. And you're, you're not working, wanting to work on things with this person. Okay? But you do still think about them emotionally. Or it could just bring a lot of emotions to you. With the Eight of Cups, yeah, a lot of emotions that you're trying to walk away from. Alright, ready to release this love block. Why is that here for your person's side? Okay, Six of uh, Cups, reverse. Alright, Six of Pentacles, reverse. Two of Wands. Because they know that there's a, there's a choice that they have to make, a path they have to go down. Okay, and it's like almost like maybe just le leaving this in the past. Okay, leaving this connection in the past. But it's like they're still, I feel this person's so focused on this connection. But it's like they need to stop giving their energy to it. They need to look on to another direction. Because I feel like the way things are going, you guys have had like a really hasty breakup, a really bad thing. Okay, yeah, Eight of Cups wanted to come out again. I feel like this person just needs to let this go. And there's probably no, you know, I don't really know if there's any hope in this. I'm not trying to be negative, but I don't really know if there's any hope of you guys ever being back together. And this person's still focused like on having you back for whatever reason. All right, so let's go ahead and do what you want to say to this person. Okay, you're all I need in this world. Maybe at one time you felt that way. Okay, maybe you gave this person a home with the King of Pentacles. Maybe you housed this person, you helped them. Okay, and you felt like you really wanted this person, but they did you really crappy. All right, what, do you, uh, what does your person want to say to you? I am yours, you are mine. Yeah, I feel like you're dealing with a really... Um, jealous protective person and they feel like you're the only person for them and that's why they're still like obsessed with this connection they feel like you're the only person that they need all right that's why they're still thinking about it holding on to this connection even though there's just a lot that happens okay what's the advice for taurus in this connection all right heart to heart conversation and it came out reversed okay so it's like you guys needed to kind of just not Talk. I feel like you guys just, things are done, things are over, and just not, there's nothing else that's need to be said. Okay, getting to know each other on the bottom. Okay, so maybe that was the problem. You guys were not really getting to know each other, or in the process of it. You guys never really knew each other that well. Okay, let's go ahead and see what signs Taurus could be dealing with. Let's get three signs. Okay, so we have the sub sign of Aquarius. Okay, the moon sign of Aquarius, Scorpio, me one more, or Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So Scorpio or air, okay, or Leo, and then we have Libra on the bottom. So they could have sun or moon of Scorpio and Aquarius or Gemini, Libra. Okay. So, sorry guys if Taurus's reading wasn't that good. I'm just catching up on there's just a lot of hasty 
it was a hasty breakup, a bad breakup, a lot of things were said, a lot of things were done, and it's like, that person's trying to move, hold on to it, and it's like, there's no sense to, this is too much happened, you know? Sometimes somebody puts you through so much, you just can't forgive them, you can't let it go. Alright, let's go ahead and do Gemini. Gemini and their person. <coughs> Sorry, guys. <clears throat> what is that? <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and do... Careful, people. Sure. Here you go. He wants to show you his drawing. Here, Brayden. Okay. Alright, Gemini. Okay, on your side, you got single. Okay, so you're currently not with this person. Man, I'm doing another breakup reading. Jeez. Okay. On their side, they got on the table. So if it's not that you guys were broken up from this person, it's like you guys aren't together, but you want to be. Okay? At least, I don't know if you actually want to be with this person. I'll see more about it. But they want to offer you commitment. Okay? On the bottom, we have lockdown. Okay, so somebody like you or them feels really mentally stuck. But they're not sure what they want to do. Okay? Maybe like you're scared to be single. Or you're scared to be in a relationship. You like being, you know, having your freedom, being single, not having to worry about, you know, other people. So let's get one more shuffle on your side, Gemini, and see. Okay. Alright, why is single here? Why, why is the single card here for Gemini? Okay, Seven of Swords. I'm going to come out. The Hangman Reverse. And the Devil. Okay, so, it's like you have more of a perspective on this person. A lot of back and forth energy. Something tells you to trust them, something tells you not to. It's like, I feel like intuitively you can't trust this person at all. Could be a Pisces or a Capricorn. But you can't trust this person. They're shady, they're toxic. Okay, it's not really that they're toxic, they're just really manipulative. They know how to, like, tell you what you want to hear. They're very shady. Okay, maybe, like, they're, uh, what they tell you doesn't add up. Okay, and it's like you realize that your intuition's telling you, like, I don't know if I can trust them. That's why maybe you have the mental prison card. You're just mentally stuck. You're just like, shoot. Like, I want to give them a chance, but it's like, I can't trust this person. Okay? Or I feel like they'll be a bad idea if I did date them. Why is there a person's on the table? Like, what commitment? Three of Swords. Okay. The Empress Reverse. And the Knight of Wands Reverse. So, I don't know if this is a person maybe that you had a kid with, or maybe that you had passed with, okay? Because I see the Knight of Wands reverse. I feel like you guys don't have anything intimate with this person, though. Emperor's reverse, there's not any growth, but this person's, like, heartbroken over you. So, definitely, I feel like this is, like, a breakup reading. Okay, Three of Swords, this person is, like, bro like heartbroken, okay? And it's, like, they I don't know if they really want to have anything, like, intimate with you, but they want... They're upset that there's no growth. Okay, the death. Because, yeah, things are ended. Maybe there's no communication with you either. There's no communication. Maybe there's not even any emotions being expressed anymore either. Alright. Let's get an epiphany. Why am I getting so many, like... You guys are, like, the second breakup reading that I've done. Like, you guys could be dealing with a Taurus. Because they just had a breakup reading, too. Alright, let's go ahead and do epiphany card for Gemini. Okay, powerless uh, struggle is real. You feel like this is kind of out of your control. Okay, your person has observing every action. On the bottom, we have false masks. Yeah, somebody was being shady and shifty. Somebody wasn't being completely honest, and I feel like it was your person. Okay, because that's how you see them. It's the seven of swords and the devil. Okay, or I could be picking up your energy, but I don't think so. Okay, if your energy is the devil and the seven of swords, maybe that's why you're single, but I'm picking up single on your side is because you can't trust the other person, okay? So why is the struggle real here for you? Eight of Cups, because you walked away. Queen of Cups, but you have a lot of emotions, death. But you know it's over, okay? You walked away from this cycle. I feel like this is a past person, an ex. You uh, ended the cycle, you walked away, but you still have a lot of feelings for them, and that's why it's hard. Okay? Because it's like a part of you wants to be single, but the other part's like, no, I kind of still care about this person. Could be dealing with an, a water sign strongly, especially a Scorpio. Okay? Two of Pentacles reverse. You let this person go, you drop them. Alright, why are they observing every action? 
Okay, the Emperor wanted to come out. The Emperor. So you could be dealing with an Aries. This person still takes action. Okay, they still, like, feel like they have a tie towards you. And they feel like they have to, like, really put their foot down. The wheel. Okay, Knight of Wands reverse. It's like they know that, that they're willing to, like, make things work. And really take action. But they're waiting for the right timing. Okay, that's why they're observing every action. Maybe they'll ask you out, waiting for things to be kind of in a better place. <coughs> Could be dealing with an Aries or a Sagittarius here. But it's like they don't want to do it too, like, impulsively, too quick. Okay, they want to make sure the timing's right. Alright, Ace of Swords reverse. Because you guys maybe still aren't speaking right now. Alright, let's see what you guys want to tell each other. Like, what do you guys want to say to each other, Gemini? Let's see what you want to say to this person. Okay, I am yours, you are mine. So you still have, like, a lot of emotional hold on this person. Okay. Alright, what do they want to say to you? I want you to be direct with me. So this person wants to have a conversation with you and kind of see where things are headed. I miss you so much. So yeah, this is a person that you haven't seen in a while. I feel like maybe this broke this breakup happened in a while ago. Okay. You guys haven't talked. Things just got kind of bad between you guys. But the feelings are still there on your side. I don't really see any emotion cards besides the Three of Swords on theirs. I feel like this person, if they do have a lot of feelings, they kind of hide it. No, they're not very, like, vague with their feelings, okay? So what's the advice for Gemini in this? Okay, attraction in reverse. Maybe there's just not any more attraction between you guys. Retreat in the reverse. So I don't feel... Okay, so, like... My advice is maybe not be disconnected from this person, but I don't really know how it's going to work if you don't really have the attraction anymore. Maybe this person lied to you so much that you just don't find them attractive that, you know, you're scared to be vulnerable with this person. Okay, let's see what signs you could be dealing with. Scorpio, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. With Libra on the bottom, and then we have the sun sign of Aries, too. So you could be dealing with Aries. Okay, we have water, we have uh, air, strongly here. Okay, but then also Aries. Alright. Alright, let's go ahead. I'm going to turn my phone down real quick. And then I'll do Cancer. This is loud. I, I'm going to turn this down, so sorry guys. Okay, let's go ahead and do cancer. Uh, cancer, at, I'll just do 23 minutes. Okay. Alright, cancer, you and this person. What is going on? Alright, what is the energy on cancer's side of this connection? Escapade. Okay, adventure, hideaway. Alright, your person has threatened, embar embarrassed appearances. So why does this person feel embarrassed? Done. Maybe the, like, they feel like this is over. Okay. Am I doing another breakup reading? Okay. It's like you want to get away from somebody. And then they feel embarrassed because you want to, like, get away from them. Okay. So far, I don't know how I like this reading at all. This is not good. All right. So, Cancer, why do you guys want to feel like you have to hide or get away? The Fool in Reverse. High Priestess and the Ace of Cups Reverse. Because you just don't have the feelings for this person. Okay, your intuition's telling you not to give this person a chance to move on from this. And you just don't feel the feelings for them anymore. Yeah, King of Cups Reverse is somebody that you just fell out of love with. Okay? And your intuition's telling you, like, to get away. I don't know why, but your intuition's telling you, like, run. Like, run, force, run. I don't know why I thought that. Okay, like, there's no chance of a direction here of you guys starting something. Could be an Aries or a Pisces. Alright, why should a person feel embarrassed? The Hermit reverse. King of Wands. And the Eight of Swords reverse. Because they still are trying to pursue you. Okay? They don't want to get out of their head about this. They still want to, you know, make this work. They feel like you're the person for them. They have a lot of, you know... A lot of energy towards this. They are waiting. This person's still waiting for you, too. The Three of Wands. They're still waiting on an opportunity. But they feel embarrassed. Like it's kind of pointless. You could be dealing with a, a Virgo here, too. 
Her? That's your lamb. The one behind. Okay, I'll get it. No, now. Okay, well, I'm doing something. Just hold on. Oh, no, it's done? Yeah. All right, let's see Epiphany for Cancer. Let's see what other card can I get for you guys in this connection or whatever. Okay, rest and recovery before restart. You feel like you guys need to take a break. Like I said, you guys need to get away. Maybe go to a hotel or something. Or go somewhere and get sleep. Okay, then they feel the no ordinary love. So you guys, it's why they still are pursuing this. I feel like you guys have a lot of, you know, attraction, a really strong connection. Okay, adjustments are being made on the bottom. So maybe this isn't a bad thing. Maybe they, you guys just feel like you guys need to get, you know, you guys are kind of not in a good place right now. And you guys need to kind of get away from this connection for a little bit. To kind of re-clear your head. Okay, so if it's not that you don't want to be with this person, it's just like maybe you don't have love to give to this person or like an opportunity and you kind of, your intuition is telling you just to take a break. Ooh. And that's where the last cancer reading I did, this happened, like all the cards just hit the table and went everywhere. So, alright, let's do uh, rest and recovery. Why do you guys need to rest and recover? Five of Pentacles, because you feel like you're alone right now, you feel... Let me see. Justice reverse. Okay, Queen of Swords. You feel like like someone's being kind of harsh with you. You feel like you're not getting something fair. You're being treated unfairly. It's kind of why you want to break. You feel like you're not treated fairly. You feel like you're kind of ignored or unwanted. Okay, so you kind of are just like, you know what? You like maybe this person's been kind of crappy to you and kind of bickering at you. Okay, someone's not like fair. Could be done with a Libra. Alright, with the No Ordinary Love, though, why is that here for your person's side, Cancer? Okay, with the Star in Reverse. Okay, Ace of Pentacles. And the Knight of Cups Reverse. Because, you know, I feel like they do want the solid opportunity with you, but there's not many, maybe any emotions being fulfilled here. Or they're not, like, expressing their feelings for you. Okay, maybe it started off as, like, they really want just stability with you. Something long-term. Okay, but the Star Reverse. It's like maybe they don't think about other people. They don't, like you're their only wish and they don't really think about other people and that's why they want to be with you. They see something solid in you. They don't dream about other people. They don't fantasize about being with other people. Okay, with the Nine of Pentacles reverse, yeah, I think they want to be like maybe in a situation where they live with you. They're, you know, I don't know. I feel like this person wants to have some kind of stability with you. Okay, they still are wanting to work on this. Okay, but I don't feel like there's any much, there's much feelings being expressed either. We don't have Aquarius too. Alright, let's see on your side, what do you want to say to this person, Cancer? Okay, I fear you don't want me, I feel insecure. So that's kind of why you're escaping and getting away. You feel like insecure, like this person don't want you. Maybe you're dealing with somebody that kind of has like a sharp tongue, and they say things they don't mean when they're mad, and it like it, it still affects you, and you feel like you're not loved or unwanted. I feel like that's why you're hiding. You feel like this person doesn't want you. You feel like... Uh, just insecure about the situation. Okay, your person wants to tell you that they could use your help. So I don't know if they need your help financially or they need your help, like, mentally. Okay? I'm feeling trapped, too. So maybe they feel stuck in their feelings, okay? Let's do overall, like, the advice for you guys in this connection. Make the effort. Okay? trust in reverse but there's a lot of trust issues in this connection I don't know why but there's a lot of trust issues I feel like this person maybe said or did something to you cancer to upset you and then it's like after that you just are scared and your intuition is telling you kind of to get away from this get away from this person so let's see what signs you could be dealing with okay I got Capricorn Gemini and then Aries Leo Sagittarius moon sign and then we also have Virgo okay so Okay, the moon sign, or they could be a Sagittarius. After that, I had Sagittarius. Okay. So you guys could be dealing with a fire sign, a Gemini, or a Capricorn strongly. But you feel like you have to kind of get away, like you can't trust this person. But I feel like you guys need to make more of an effort on both sides. Alright, let's go ahead and do Leo. Alright, Leo, let's see the situations for you and your person. Okay, so on your side, you got denial. Let's see what's on their side. Receipts. Okay, proof. This person wants proof about something. Okay, bounty hunter, because they're, they're chasing you. Okay, or someone's being chased here. Someone's 
chasing somebody. So let's go ahead and clarify the denial. Let's get two more shuffles for Leo. Alright, Leo, why do you guys have the denial card here? Queen of Cups. Queen of Wands. Two of Swords. Okay, the denial is that you do have a lot of feelings for this person, a lot of passion, but you're kind of stuck, or you're not wanting to see, it's like in this connection, you're not wanting to see how much you like this person, or how much you feel for them, you kind of block it out and like ignore it, okay, there's a lot of denial about how you feel about for this person, three of cups reverse, okay, alright, on their side they got the receipts, like they want proof about something, what do they want proof on, temperance reverse, ace of cups, judgment reverse, Okay, they want proof that you do have love for them, that you do want to be with them. But they feel like, with the receipts here, they want proof that they feel like you're in balance. They want to like they want proof to make sure that you're okay, like, stably, to be in this connection with them. Okay, your person wants to make sure that you're in the right place mentally to be with this person. Maybe they feel like, if it's like an ex, they feel like they, maybe like this time around, they're not really sure if you're ready or, like, okay mentally to be in this connection. Five of Pentacles. Okay, they might feel like they need to just kind of give you more time, kind of leave you all out, out for a little bit. Alright, let's get an epiphany card for you guys. Okay, so adjustments are being made on your side. Okay, on their side they have social media got me in trouble. Then we have the road to recovery on the bottom. Okay, so there is adjustments being made on your side. I'm not sure what those are, so we'll clarify that. Alright, so adjustments are being made. What's being made for you guys, Leo? Okay, three cups reverse. Okay, king, uh, king of swords here. Ace of pentacles. So there's a sense of maybe you were seeing other people. Or you're gonna, like, get rid of a third party influence, whoever that is. I don't know if it's somebody, like a friend or something. You're gonna, like, get rid of the third party influence. Okay, and so you're gonna have more communication and offer something more solid with this person. You want to offer something stabi uh, stable? Have stability. Okay, why did social media get your person in trouble? Okay, the priestess. Because they're keeping secrets about their social media. Two of Pentacles reverse. Okay, with the King of Pentacles too. So they were maybe hiding some stuff on social media. Like something to do with money. Like maybe they were keeping a secret that they quit another job or they got a job somewhere else, or there's something here to do with money or something on social media that they hid. Okay, Page of Pentacles. So maybe that they got a new job offer somewhere else. Okay, and it's like maybe they didn't tell you that. Or they're lying about where they work at on social media. Something of that weird. Like, something stupid. Like, like I don't know. Like, why would somebody do that? Like, why would you hide where you work at? It's like they didn't want you knowing where, you, they're, where they work at or something. Like, who does that? That's weird. All right. Let's go ahead and see what, uh, what do you want to say to this person, Leo? Surrender yourself to me. Alright, what does your person want to say? My ex is messing with my mind. Okay, they could be also hiding that they're still talking to their ex, and you don't know about it. Or you could be the ex, but it could be another ex that's messing with them. I need to be alone for a while. Okay, that's why this person's not really sure if... If maybe they're even in a good place to be with you. Like, they do have love for you, but they're not really sure if they're in a good place. Alright, let's see the advice for your guys' connection. Keep an open mind in the reverse. I would just be kind of doubtful on it, to be honest. I'm not trying to say be negative, but I just wouldn't have a whole lot of hope into it. Okay, like, there is romantic feelings, but there's kind of a lot going on behind the surface. So I would kind of just keep an eye out. Alright, let's go ahead and see what signs you should be dealing with. Okay, we got Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sagittarius... Okay, the moon sign or Pisces. So they could have Pisces as their uh, moon sign, Sagittarius or Earth sign as their moon, or they could be like, you know, one of the sun signs with that in it, as, as well as Cancer too. Or they could be a Cancer with the moon sign. That could be Cancer as well. Okay.
Pisces, go ahead and do Virgo. Let me get a sip of my smoothie. All right, Virgo, you and your person, where are you guys at in this like connection? On your side, you have a settlement, so agreement, compromise. On their side, they have drama queen, causing chaos. Okay. On the bottom, we have receipts, like there's proof. Okay, or somebody needs proof of something. Oh my gosh, let's get soft drop. But there's a sense of, you know, you wanted to make it some kind of agreement. You want to compromise. Okay, but it's like they're kind of mean. You might be dealing with somebody that's just like full of drama, that always likes to cause issues, cause unnecessary drama and problems. Okay. It's like you always have to compromise with this person. Let's get one more shuffle. Alright, so what do you have to make a compromise on? Seven of Pentacles, about this connection, about where it's headed, where it's growing. Okay, the High Priestess. Okay, Ten of Wands, Reverse. Okay, but it's like you, your intuition is telling you to continue compromising, working on this. Okay, just not put as much work in or kind of... Make sure you don't overwhelm yourself with, you know, working too much. Knight of Swords reverse. There might be a sense of not much communication between this person. <coughs> okay. Why do they have the drama queen here? Why are they causing chaos? Seven of Swords reverse. King of Pentacles reverse. Queen of Pentacles. They could be fighting about, like, money with you. Causing drama. Like, maybe they feel like you're not making enough money. Something to do with money, because I don't usually get seven of pentacles. So maybe they feel like you need to have, like, a better job, or you need to work more. Okay? It's like they want... They're trying to cause you to be, like, in conflict with yourself. Okay? This is a person that makes you feel like they belittle you with the seven of swords reverse. They're kind of belittling you where you get into your head and, like, causing yourself to feel undesirable, unwanted. Feeling like you're not good enough. So this is, you're dealing with somebody that's kind of a narcissist that makes you feel like crap about yourself. Eight of swords reverse. Okay? But I feel like overall... You know, you just want to get, like, unstuck from the situation. You always feel like you have to compromise, too. Maybe you always feel like you have to do what this person says. Like, they're very bossy. Okay? You always feel like, okay, if you want me to work more, that's fine. I'm just exhausted, but I'll keep working, you know? Let's get an epiphany card. Okay, on your side, you have ready to surrender. So, it's like you feel, like, tied to this person. Like, you have to do what they say. On their side, we have love stories never, true love stories never end. On the bottom, enlightenment, see more clearly. So there's something you guys have seen more clearly here. Okay, it's like you, Virgo, you guys want to surrender to this person. I don't know why you feel like you need to compromise. I don't know if it's like, you know, like you haven't compromised in the past and now you're wanting to be more, you know, where you're open, you're helping, you know, really do what this person wants. So I'm not trying to think negative of the person. Maybe they've been asking you to do something for a while. Okay, and it's like you always kind of blocked it out or never did it. Okay, so maybe now you're ready to actually do what this person wants. Okay, so I'm ready to surrender here. Okay, three of swords reverse. Ten of wands reverse. And the four of cups. Okay, it's like you also kind of... After talking about feeling overworked and like moving on from a situation, you're kind of wondering, ready to surrender. Kind of wondering if you're actually like, you know, wanting this relationship or not. Okay, with the Ten of Cups reverse. You feel like, there's, like you're just kind of bored of it. You're just wanting to surrender and kind of do what they say. Out of like feeling bored. Okay, or feeling like, okay, I guess I'll just do that then. Alright, well, let's say you got true love stories never end. Okay, Knight of Cups. Okay, Knight of Wands reverse. And the Two of Swords reverse. Or Seven of Voices. Seven of Swords reverse. So this person does have like feelings for you. They still have love that they want to offer you. But they want to make sure that it's at a good time, that it's not too quick. Okay? And then, like I said, this person could also get you, like, in your head as well. Gives you feeling kind of stuck. Or they could be doing that to their self. Calls, like, mental back and forth. You know, am I good enough? Should I do this? You know? With the Five of Cups, there's a lot that they regret. Okay? Or a lot of sadness. Alright, let's go ahead and see what you want to say to this person, Virgo. What would you want to say to this person? I'm secretly in love with you. Okay. What does this person want to say to you? I'm feeling trapped. 
Okay, it, may, it could be vice versa. I want to be yours forever. Okay, but this person feels trapped. Maybe mentally trapped. The Seven of Swords reverse. They feel like trapped in their head. Feeling stuck. Feeling like some kind of mental conflict within their self. Okay, and they have that twice, that card twice. So maybe there is a lot of mental stuff happening. What's the advice for Virgo? Call in your soulmate in the reverse. So this person could be your soulmate. And that's why you guys have this connection here. This stuff going on. Separation in the reverse. And I feel like you guys don't want to be separated. Let's go ahead and get what signs you could be dealing with. Okay, we got Scorpio. Okay, the moon sign. We got Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Taurus on the bottom. Okay, so they could have a moon sign and in uh, Earth, Scorpio, or Fire, or they could be this that sign with you know the moon sign. Any of those places. Okay, let's get ready to do Libra. Libra. Alright, Libra, you and your person. Let's see where you guys are at. What's going on? On your side, you got interview. Okay, trying to get to the same page, talk to each other. Then they got some social media, uh, fake profile hiding on the bottom. Or on the, on their side. On the bottom, we have awakening. Okay? So it's like you guys want to discuss with this person that they hid something on social media. Or they weren't being completely honest about something. Maybe they made a fake account. Alright, so what do you guys want to talk about? Let's go ahead and get one more shuffle. Alright, let's see what you guys want to talk about, Libra, to this person. Alright, Eight of Wands reverse. Justice reverse. Hermit. I feel like you guys were kind of separated from this person for a while, disconnected, but you guys want to kind of get things going and co communication wise and talk to them because you feel like things were unfair to you. So something was unfair to you. It caused a lot of unbalance in the connection. Okay. Caused you to be isolating from your, from this person caused you to be kind of alone and wanting to be by yourself. Okay. I feel there is a disconnect and energy of talking to this person with the strength. <coughs> Maybe what happened really hurt you and you had to get back to yourself. <coughs> Could we deal with a Libra, Virgo, or a Leo? Okay, so why is the social media card here for your person's side? Alright, Page of Wands reverse, the Star, and the King of Cups reverse. So they were like kind of feeling uninspired, maybe of this connection. But it's like they were not really feeling like into it. Like their feelings weren't maybe, they weren't really sure they felt deep down about this connection. They were kind of uninspired, not really willing to like work on something here so they kind of were looking elsewhere or seeing like there are other options i'm not trying to be negative but i feel like this person maybe made a dating site to kind of see their other options to see what else is out there at the start okay see that there's other like possibilities okay we know an aquarius okay page of cups reverse okay so let's go ahead and see with the epiphany what else happens i feel like you got this person like if you guys weren't together you guys just seen them on another dating site or something that really hurt you. Alright, so let's get another card for you guys. Okay, it's hard to say goodbye. And it's like it really hurt you, this situation, so you had to like release this person. Poor judgment on their side. They know that they made a mistake. Okay, waiting for a union. They know they made a mistake. Okay. And I feel like you don't want to say goodbye to this person, but like it really hurt you. That you had to find out about them doing this. Okay. Maybe even it was from a third party influence. Maybe it wasn't. Like you didn't find out. Maybe you found out from other people. I've been in that situation before and it sucks. You know when. Actually ironically when I was in a situation like that. A Libra was the one that told me. So it's actually kind of ironic. I guess. It's not like. I don't know. This is weird. Alright. Hard to say goodbye. Okay. Five of Wands. Okay, Ten of Cups and the Seven of Wands. Yeah, you have a lot of strong desires, emotions for this person, but there's a lot of conflict, a lot of bad energy. You're kind of resisting this person. A lot of, you're just really mad right now. I feel like this is like a fresh thing that just happened. And it, you guys have a lot of love for this person, but 
it's like you're upset about it. When you're trying to block them out, you're trying not to talk to them because you are going to blow up in a conversation. You're going to pop off and you're going to probably say something you don't mean. Okay? Poor judgment on their side. Okay, the Empress reversed. Okay, Four of Pentacles and the Queen of Wands reversed. Yeah, they know that they did something wrong. Okay, and I feel like they're still holding on to this near their heart. They feel really bad. Queen of Wands reversed. They could feel like now they're not wanted by you. You don't find them like in the same way anymore. With the Empress reverse, I know like now like maybe they've messed things up where there is no potential of you guys growing from this, of this being anything. Okay, with the Five of Cups reverse. But it's like they're trying not to put the blame on their self, okay? This is a person that's trying not to feel guilty. Even though they are holding it close to them, like they know like they did make a mistake. Alright, so what do you want to say to this person, Libra? Kind of scared to see because it looks like probably it's not going to be good. Past life connection. Okay, so this could be somebody from a past life or somebody from your past. Okay, what do they want to say? I want to be in a relationship with you. It's like they still want to make things work even though they did you kind of crappy. I love you on the bottom, okay? So it's like they still love you, they still care for you, and want to be in a relationship. But maybe you guys weren't together and they were on a social media, like, dating site, okay? Alright, let's see, like, the overall, like, what's advice? Children. You guys could have children together, too, man. That's what makes it worse. It's like that you guys have kids together and it's kind of like... A, it's like a hard wound to you because it's like it's, it upsets you seeing them trying to be with somebody else when you guys have kids together. Okay, express your love. Okay, so maybe, you know, children are a factor in your guys' connection. Okay, but I feel like you guys do still have a lot of feelings for each other. Alright, let's see what sign you guys could be dealing with. Okay, we have Aquarius. I did have the star card here. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Pisces on the bottom, Sagittarius on the other side. Okay, so it's kind of a, like a, I don't know, kind of like a tough reading. It's like you guys are still thinking about something that this person did, and it's kind of hard to let it go. I have a lot of, like, weird energy coming through today. Like, a lot of just regret, a lot of kind of negative stuff happening. So, I hope this doesn't, like, affect your guys' day if you guys watch this. Alright, let's go ahead and do Scorpio. You and your person. I thought I was going to be getting like a lovey-dovey reading, but instead it's like a lot of past stuff, and it's like, man. Okay, on your side, you guys have today. So in the moment, now, okay? On their side, they have Bounty Hunter. So Hot Pursuit Chaser. So you have somebody like chasing you. And then you might be trying to like remove this person from your life, okay? Removing negativity. So maybe you have somebody that's like chasing after you and it's like today in the present moment you have somebody that's like chasing after you. So I mean that's good. Let's get more into it though. Let's make sure it's what you're wanting. And it's not like a stalker. It's all, that's all. No my luck. That's probably what I'll pull through. I've been getting just a lot of negative energy. Alright. Let's go ahead and see what it's like in the present moment for you guys. Okay. The King of Wands. The Hierophant. Ace of Wands Reverse. Somebody that you're currently dealing with, I don't feel like it's a new situation with Ace of Wands Reverse. I don't feel like it's new. I feel like it's either a person you're in a commitment with or somebody that wants it to be a commitment. Okay, or a marriage. Someone very passionate about you. You're passionate about somebody. There's a lot of, you know, good energy. Five of Pentacles Reverse. Maybe somebody came back around. Okay, in the present moment. There's a lot of passion for somebody. Alright, what's the Hot Pursuit Chaser card about? Alright, Five of Pentacles Reverse. This person's coming back around. The Emperor, they're taking action. Could be an Aries, King of Cups. Because they have a lot of emotions for you, but they're not expressing it. This is somebody that's very, you know, they really make sure that when they want you, they get you. That kind of thing. So you really got somebody chasing after you. Could be a Taurus or an Aries strongly here. Got the lovers, a really strong connection. Okay, you got some unfinished business, a cycle that hasn't ended. Okay, really strong connection. So far, I like your guys' reading. This is probably the best one so far. Honestly, this is. Alright, let's go ahead and do it. Um, an epiphany card. Alright, so Dark Knight of the Soul. So, you guys, Scorpio on your side, you guys are kind of going through a little dark times here. On their side, we got False Mask. Okay? Hidden intentions, hidden desires. This person's not being completely honest about what they're wanting. Okay? Maybe they're not really... 
or they're hiding, covering something up. They're not really telling you some stuff. That's the only bad thing. So in a second, I'm going to see why you guys have the Dark Knight or the Soul. Like, you guys are kind of going through a little, you know, dark time here. Alright, why is this Dark Knight of the Soul here for Scorpio? Okay, with the Hangman in reverse. Okay, Ten of Swords reverse and the Two of Wands. You're trying, you're going through a healing time, so it's not really a real dark time. You guys are going through a healing process. Okay, you know that there's something you need to heal from and move on. You know that you need to kind of change some stuff in your life. And I feel like you're kind of stuck, though, on, like, what direction to go. That's the only thing. You're kind of stuck. What could we do with the Pisces here? Okay, and then we have the uh, Seven of Cups reverse. But you're getting more of an understanding of where you need to be. Okay, why is False Mask here for your person? Okay, Eight of Swords. They're something that they're trapped. That they There's something that's kind of deep down that they're not expressing. Four of Cups. Okay, with the Strength reverse. But I feel like they want to open up and tell you about it, but they... Feel like they should just kind of keep it to themselves. There's something that they feel like they need to keep to themselves, and then they do want to tell you, but they need to kind of keep it down. Queen of Pentacles could have to do with their job, okay, or some person that's a very strong influence in their life, okay. Could be doing with a Leo here. All right, let's go ahead and see what you guys want to say to each other. So Scorpio, what does this person want to say, to, or what do you want to say to this person? Sorry. I feel cursed. Okay, so you feel cursed. That's not good. Okay, what does this person want to say to you? I'm trying to leave. So maybe this person's in another, and in, like involved with somebody else. And that's what they don't want to tell you. That the Queen of Pentacles is somebody that gives them money. Somebody that they're still invested into. Okay. I feel like there's something that they're hiding. Like, yeah, they want to be in a relationship with you. They're chasing after you. But maybe they're involved with somebody else. And maybe you kind of know about that too, that I feel cursed. You kind of have a feeling that that's happening. My emotions are running away from me on the bottom. Okay. I feel like you might be like in a third party or this person's still kind of involved somehow with somebody. All right, let's go ahead and see advice for this connection, Scorpio. Okay, make the effort reverse. I feel like I would just kind of hold off religious factors because this person might even be married because we had the Hierophant card come out for you guys currently like somebody's married religious factors okay and someone's not wanting to release an ex okay let's go ahead and do zodiac cards just when I said it was a good reading and then it ends up crappy I'm sorry all right let's see what signs you could be dealing with okay we have another Scorpio we have Capricorn Gemini Libra Aquarius Cancer Scorpio Pisces Libra okay so we have air we have Scorpio and Cancer and water Let's hope Sagittarius is better. Alright, Sagittarius, let's get ready to do you in a second. Okay, Sagittarius, let's see what's going on with you and the person you're thinking about, you and the person you're dealing with, what's happening. Okay, so I'll just pick one card for each. Okay, on your side we have... Daily hustle. So you guys are focusing on your money right now. Okay? Your person side, insatiable, wanting more. So your person really is desiring you, wanting you. Okay? But maybe you're a workaholic or you're working a lot. Entrapment. There could be something to do with money. Okay? Or you guys could be pregnant. If, if it's not that you're pregnant, there's just a sense of, you know, feeling like you guys need to keep working harder with your money. Focusing on your hustle. Okay? But this person really desires you. Okay, so let's go ahead and see. So you guys, why is the hamster wheel for you guys with the daily hustle? So that's good. You guys are working hard. Okay, but you guys could be maybe even blocking out this connection because you're working so much. So, okay, nine of pentacles. You guys are being single, focusing on your independence yourself with the magician and the nine of cups. But I feel like even though you're working on yourself, whatever, like you have the plan that's like in you, whoever you want. You can have, okay? I feel like you can have whoever you want. Like, whoever you're desiring to come towards you, I feel like will. So, if you're really wanting somebody to come towards you and express their feelings to you, they're going to. Okay? With the magician, who do um, a Gemini. Or you could be wanting, like, a, a water sign to come towards you. 
King of Cups reverse. Somebody that hasn't expressed their feelings to you. I feel like you're really, if you want this to happen, I feel like it's going to happen. As well as focusing on yourself, too. Alright, so the wanting more insatiable. Why is that here for your person? Eight of Pentacles. Because they keep wanting to work on this. Okay, Temperance reverse and the Nine of Swords reverse. But they're kind of all over the place. They're trying not to be in their head, but their emotions are kind of all over the place in regards to this. Okay, Ace of Pentacles reverse, because maybe it hasn't, like, started off as anything. Okay, your person's kind of really wanting this to go somewhere, but it hasn't started off, like, in a solid, you know, stable way. Alright, let's get to Epiphany. On your side, we have planning for the future. So you guys are doing a lot of planning, a lot of, like, saving your money, a lot of trying to see where you guys are at. Okay, on their side, waiting for this union. So they want to spend time with you. The truth will set you free. Okay. This person really wants to say how they feel to you. But it's like you guys are planning for the future. You guys are really focused on money right now. Focusing like where you guys are going to be at. What is your goal? What's the plan? Okay. So I like that energy for you guys. That's good. Okay. It's better than being upset. It's good you guys are focusing on yourself. Okay, planning for the future. Let's see. Okay, with the two of the pinnacles reversed, dropping something that's not benefiting you. Okay, with the Empress. Alright, and the Nine of Wands reversed, being open to new possibilities, not being wounded, kind of releasing any barriers, breaking down your walls, as well as letting growth. I like this for you guys currently, okay? So you guys are focusing on growth, establishing something here. Okay, also you guys could be pregnant or wanting to be pregnant, okay? With the Six of Swords reversed, but not able to get away from something in the past, though. So we're not wanting to walk away from something else. Alright, so why is the Union card here for your person? Okay, the World in reverse. Did you guys have, like, an unfinished cycle? You guys are in some kind of situation right now. Okay, with the Nine of Cups reversed. And they're not feeling completely fulfilled or happy right now. With the Hermit reverse. Maybe because they're trying to get out of, like, not being... Maybe they, they've kind of... Not ghosted you, but they've been kind of silent for a while, okay? Or they've been they're trying to transition out of a time of being where they really didn't give you a whole... Maybe this person, what I'm getting is, they didn't... Like, you're kind of focusing on yourself because this person maybe was going through something else. And they weren't really giving you a whole lot of... Maybe they were working on something as well. And they weren't really, like, around you a lot, okay? Or you guys didn't really have a lot of, like, going on with this connection in the past. And it's like you were working on yourself. And now this person, they're trying to get out of this mode of being by their self, okay? Yeah. Two of Cups, because they have a soulmate connection with you. Why? I Why is there all in your life? Okay, I see it. Alright. Alright, what? I'm, I'm doing a reading. Okay. Alright, love you. I'm trying to film. Thanks. Alright, what do you want to... I'm not trying to make a I'm like, I just want to finish this. Alright, what do you want to say to this person, Sag? <laughs> All right, I want you to tell me your dreams so I can share them with you. What is he doing to a jolly night? He's drawing it. Well, okay. It just like a Okay. What does this person want to say to you? Okay, I want to be straight with you. As well as I fantasize about you sexually. 